Hi, I'm Jeremy Otto from MusiciansNotepad.com. Uh, you probably are here because you took lessons from me or you saw me at a camp and I gave you a handout about how to hold the sticks. Um, this is the video reference for that. If you found this some other way, cool, thanks for coming to this video. Um, please make sure to let us know where you come from and how you found us. We would love to hear from you uh, down in the comments below or any other way you can find us. Um, okay, so first step to holding the sticks. I want you to make a politician's fist. And by that, what I mean is I want you to make like you would, how you would make a fist, but I want you to put your thumb on the outside. Like some politicians will give speeches and they don't want to point at you because it's kind of weird, so they point at you with their thumb. You hold like that, and then you literally just take the stick and drop it in between, keeping your thumb on the stick and all your fingers wrapped around in kind of that position. No gap here, not tight, you don't need to like really grab it, but just kind of loose, but a closed gap. Do that in both hands. Put them in a V shape on the drum with the thumbs pointing towards each other. You want your palms facing the ground because it's easier to bounce a ball than it is to shake a hand. So you have more range of motion this direction. Make a V on the drum. And now you have to try and find the bounce point. So what I mean by that is you want to find the spot where when you hit it, that stick wants to hop all the way back. In fact, if you let go at the right time, that stick will pop right out of your hand. Okay. Make sure when you go to bounce that you don't fake bounce. What I mean by that is there are two things that I see people do a lot that aren't actually doing this the way they're supposed to. One is they will throw the stick and they'll do this. Right? And they're really just throwing the stick at the drum and they're letting go. And of course you don't want to do that. The other is that they'll fake it. They'll hit, they'll stop, and then do that. Trying to throw the stick. So it's not about throwing the stick. It's really not about the stick coming out of your hand. That's just the fun way to do it. What you want to do is make it so when you hit, that stick comes all the way back. If I stop, it stops right there. Okay? I can let that stick kind of come out and just fly out if I need it to. If I'm going for it and I'm not holding the stick in the right position, say I'm holding too far up, it does that. If I hold it too far back, it does that. Basically the same thing. But if I hold in just the right spot, it comes up. So you want to make sure that you find that balance point. Now the reason I'm making it bounce so high, well if you're holding in the wrong spot, to play again, I have to lift the stick. Same thing, if I'm holding back here, I have to lift the stick. But if I do this, I don't have to lift the stick again to keep hitting. So now that we've got how to hold the sticks, what we're going to do is we're going to go through a couple of the stickings that were probably on the back side of that sheet. The first one we're going to do is just alternating strokes back and forth. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to start very slow, make sure that our hands are doing the right thing, make sure we're getting the bounce, and we're going to go from very slow to very fast, and we're going to try and push into even faster, and then we are going to slowly slow down. Let's try that. Freeze, take a look at your hands, make sure that your thumb is still in the correct position, make sure that your other fingers are still in the correct position. If they're not, go ahead and fix them and keep track of that next time. Try and feel where it changes. Usually it's at the very fast spots, specifically where you try and push a little faster. Now that was something we call a rudiment, which is essentially like a scale for a drummer. You don't need to really worry about that so much. Just know that if someone says, Singles, that's what you just did. It's short for single stroke roll or just 
alternating strokes. So that is singles. Now we're going to do doubles, which is a short for double stroke roll, and it's just right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. By the way, if you are left-handed, feel free to switch these and do them the other direction. That is absolutely fine to play this left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. In fact, at some point, every drummer should take the time to work on their weak hand uh, as well as their strong hand. So for everybody, doing them both ways is definitely recommended. Again, freeze and look at your hands and make sure everything is in a good position. The next one we're going to do is called the paradiddle. And it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. It's a combination of singles and doubles. This one is tough, and for a long time, it's not only going to be tough on your hands, but it's going to be tough on your brain, meaning that you're going to have to think about it a lot more than the others. Let's give it a try. Again, check your hands, make sure everything's okay. The last one we're going to do is our buzz roll. And to do our buzz roll, we have to come up with a new technique with our stick. So far, we've been basing everything we've done off of the idea of letting that stick come back up again. Now we need to push that stick back down. We have to create a buzz with it, like this. You keep pushing down, you pull your index finger in like a trigger, and keep your hand angled down and it will create that buzz. Now when you first start, they're probably going to sound like this. Really let that buzz draw out. Now when you put them together in long succession, you get your buzz roll. So here we go. Again, check your hands, make sure everything's good. So there are four basic sticking patterns and how to hold the sticks to get you started playing. Uh, thanks for checking in. If this video helped you, uh, give it a like, but specifically give us a comment. Let us know what we did well. If there's any questions you have, because certainly this is the beginning of a long journey, please leave them in the comments as well, or send us uh, a tweet, uh, at Musicians Notes, uh, like us on Facebook, Musicians Notepad, um, there's all sorts of ways you can get in touch with us, so please do that. Uh, if you are interested in seeing more content, well, most of what we do is based on teaching drums and talking to other teachers, but if you want to get in touch with us or just follow those things, uh, you can subscribe. Uh, you can also go to our website, musiciansnotepad.com, every Wednesday for new content. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I hope this was really helpful for you, and uh, we'll see you soon. Let's hit it.